Actually, I think I got involved about three or four years ago. It might be five years ago. I'm a bit vague on this uh, because I've probably been enjoying my involvement so much. But um, just getting involved with the wonderful people at Youth Opportunities here in South Australia. Peter Carey was at the helm and he's a friend of mine. And I first started getting involved through golf days. Uh, just a bit of emceeing and, and playing some lousy golf as well. And then I got to hear the stories over time. I got to, I was lucky enough to go to more functions, more lunches and meet the young people that were, I guess, the recipients of what youth opportunities do. And so uh, the more you hear the stories, the more inspired you get and the more you just can't help it. You just want to be involved. I think to hear young people get up with such courage like at a dinner that and this is what I first witnessed and what I first saw to see a young person who's come from such a tough background and I'm talking really tough you know a lot of people say I grew up in a tough area or I had a hard upbringing they haven't seen anything they haven't been through anything until you hear these young kids speak and it's so impressive to hear how these young kids speak when I say young kids they're in upper high school I always use the one example. The first girl I heard speak, at a, it was at a golf dinner at Glenelg, and she stood up and her opening sentence was, um, mum and dad are in jail, and I get my little sisters up every morning and I make sure they have breakfast and, you know, I get them bathed and then we all go off to school. And I thought, here's a girl, I think is 15 or 16, and she then went on to say how she wanted to be maybe an accountant or a lawyer, and I thought, how much of a struggle is this young girl's life? And she told her story with a smile and she was able to get up and speak the way she did so eloquently because of what she'd done with youth opportunities. Now we've all got our favorite charities and we can, all of us that are lucky enough to can help all sorts of people. But I was so taken by this young girl. It was a real life experience. If you know what I mean, that I could see it, I could hear it. I could sense in her voice, how um, grateful she was that she'd been given the help. Um, and that she was also a living, breathing example of how the Youth Opportunities Charity was working. It had turned her life around. It had given her opportunity. And my God, what a story she's got to tell. And she didn't complain. This is the thing that struck me. She didn't even whinge or complain. She said, I'm lucky. I'm happy that I've been helped. And it absolutely floored me that a girl could speak so beautifully and talk about her experience, which is a courageous thing to do in front of a lot of successful people and actually tell us how good her life is. I've never forgotten it and I'll never forget it. Supporting youth opportunities to me, um, for a start, it actually just makes you feel really good. Now, that might be a really broad... Um, and a shallow thing to say at the same time, but I actually mean it. Um, and look, there are people uh, probably watching this and listening to this who are from all different walks of life and different earning capacities. I can tell you, like I, I, I send some money in every month and it's a minimal amount, but I know that what my, and it's been explained to me that what it does though, is it gives the young person the chance to have probably two counseling sessions. So it's a very, very small thing that I'm doing. But you know what, it makes me feel great. And then when I see these young kids and I get to meet them through youth opportunities and see that they really have turned their lives around. Not that, when I say turn their lives around, it's not that they were down and out, but they've come from really tough situations and we're giving them the opportunity to actually have a crack at life to, you know, we associate success with, I think, the wealthier suburbs that you get to go to university, you get to become a doctor or a lawyer or, you know, a, a specialist or do any of those great jobs. And what we're doing here is we're giving every person the chance and kids that have come from areas that would never, ever think about going to university or on the tertiary education. And when we see university, maybe a young girl wants to be a dressmaker or maybe a young boy wants to be a mechanic. You know, they would never get that opportunity through youth opportunities. They are. I keep using the word opportunity because that's what it's about. They will get that chance. Um, and just the mentoring they're given, um, the way that they're put on, the correct path in life is just outstanding. So, you know, it, 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 I don't know, I, I use the term feel good, but it does, you, you, it just, when you can see, I think it's fair to say that a lot of things all of us, uh, we buy raffle tickets for or we donate to, we don't ever see it again. And you think, oh, I, I hope that went to the right place. With youth opportunities, you actually see it. You really do.
All you need to do is go to the Youth Opportunities website and it will explain there how you can be a regular giver. Um, you click on, I think it will say monthly, and just click on that. And that's what my, my family and I do, honestly. And I'm not saying that to be a hero because we give a minimal amount, but we know that it is helping in some small way. Uh, and these kids will get mentored. Uh, they'll get guidance and help, you know, all year. Um, and uh, they will really, really benefit from it because we've seen it firsthand. But that's how easy it is. So please go to the website, go to where it says monthly. And you know what? If you're a large corporation and you can give thousands, fantastic. But you can also do what my family does. We just give a minimal amount. But I said earlier, it's been explained to us that we are actually helping these kids get sessions, you know, regular sessions, just by the little amount that we give as a family. So there are all different ways to do it. But I urge you to get involved. You, you will not believe the results that you'll see from these wonderful kids.